Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, I'll be reviewing Star Trek The Q Gambit Number 2 from IDW Publishing, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. It's Wednesday, so obviously that means we're doing Star Trek. It's a new thing we're going to be doing from now on. Every Wednesday, Star Trek. As I said previously, today I'll be reviewing Star Trek Q Gambit issue number 2 from IDW Publishing, so let's get right into it. The Kelvinverse Enterprise crew has been thrust into the future by the mischievous Q. And what is the first sight they see? Deep Space Nine. Or at least in this timeline, it's still referred to as Terok Nor, which is under the control of the Dominion. It's here that James T. Kirk is introduced to Gull Dukat for the first time. For those of you who aren't familiar with Gull Dukat, he was the main Cardassian nemesis of the Deep Space Nine crew, Sisko and Kira specifically. It's also revealed here that Kirk and the rest of the Kelvinverse crew have never encountered Cardassians before. Yet being a student of all history, Dukat is very well learned about Kirk. It's also revealed by Dukat that Kirk and crew have ended up in the future of their timeline, over a century into the future at that. It's also learned that the Kelvinverse timeline has never encountered the Q, at least not to Dukat's knowledge. Shortly after their conversation, Dukat has Kirk placed in the brig alongside his crew and a new ally, Benjamin Sisko. It's also revealed that Odo has been posing as a member of the Dominion, just as the Defiant appears to rescue Sisko. Sisko tries to get Kirk, Scotty, and Uhura to join him in the escape, but Kirk refuses to leave without the rest of his crew, to which Sisko knocks him out in order to save his life. Aboard the Defiant, Keiko O'Brien is commanding the vessel as a member of the Resistance, which was once known as the Federation a long, long time ago, back before the Dominion. At the end of this issue, we learn that Earth has been conquered and is part of the Klingon Empire. Once again, IDW did not disappoint with this issue. The art is amazing and completely maintains the likeness 100% of each of the characters shown. It's almost as if we're watching an episode of Deep Space Nine in which the Kelvinverse crew cross over. The issue shows something I don't think many fans really ever realize, and that's that Kirk and Sisko are very much alike. But whereas Kirk is somewhat hot-headed, Sisko is very calculating, but isn't afraid to get his hands dirty. The reveal of Gold Dukat and the Dominion at the beginning was very unexpected. And the ending, where we see a Klingon conquered Earth, really showed how much of a difference the effects of the first Kelvinverse Star Trek movie made on the entire continuity of the galaxy throughout all of time. When I began reading this series, it was mainly because Q meeting Kirk caught my attention. But then the artwork and the story just maintained my attention, and I just couldn't put it down. If you guys haven't done so yet, I highly recommend picking up a copy of each issue from this miniseries, Star Trek The Q Gambit. There's only six issues so you won't have to spend much money. However, according to Comixology, the miniseries is also a continuation of the main Star Trek comic line, as they're numbered Star Trek number 35 through 40, with the release dates being 2011 to 2016. Honestly, I'd probably give this issue 9 out of 10 stars. I really enjoyed it and highly recommend any movie adaptation, any series... TV series adaptation from IDW. They really know their stuff over there. Uh, I really enjoyed their Ghostbusters line. The Back to the Future started out okay and then kind of dwindled off, but still really great storytelling over there, really great artwork. The creators over there really know their stuff and stick with continuity. I'm Shannon from Comageddon TV, where all geek culture collides. Tune in next when we take a look at issue three of the Star Trek Q Gambit miniseries. Take care.
Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.